What's going on, Lee Gen Bees? Matty Ice here, Leech for Locals. In this video, I want to share my top five tips for go high level beginners. This is just based on my experience, things that uh, have worked for me to you know help me progress throughout my journey using go high level. And I want to make sure that you guys get the most out of go high level because it is truly the best uh, platform, the best tool you can have in your business right now. It does so, it gives you so many different benefits and features. There's just so many awesome things you can do with it. And I want to give you guys kind of a roadmap. Uh, you know, again, just sharing some things that I've learned along the way that um, will hopefully help you uh, with your business and really maximize the, the power of Go High Level. Also, I want to help keep you guys safe from from the the, the scams and, and stuff out there because there's a lot of stuff out there. You know, people, uh, you know, you know, I'll come in and build your your Go High Level out and all that stuff. I just want you guys to stay safe. So uh, make sure you stick to the end. I'm gonna have some uh, really important stuff in the uh, in this one. All right. So my only ask, as usual, if you find the video helpful, please smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Check out all the links in the description, including my Go High Level playlist. Uh, I think I have over 50 different tutorials now on how to use Go High Level. So make sure you check that out. And of course, uh, if you don't have Go High Level yet, if you don't mind. Uh, again, if you find the video helpful, please go through my affiliate link in the description. It gives you a two-week free trial and uh, really does help support the channel. You guys are awesome. All right. The first tip that I want to start with is learn first, then hire. I, I deal with this uh, or this comes up quite a bit, uh, especially over the last few months working with students and clients who are coming on board with Go High Level. They're getting, you know, they've seen how powerful it is. Uh, but you know, maybe they're too busy with like running their own actual business, which is totally understandable. The problem is I've, and I've seen this more times than uh, I, I care to, or than, uh, than I would like to see is uh, people will, you know, they'll hire, you know, VAs or whoever to come in and build their, their go high level systems out. And it's trash. I literally just saw this the other day. Uh, someone hired me to come in and clean up their go high level stuff because the person just had no idea what they were doing. Yeah, they knew how to put together a tag, you know, a basic workflow with tags and emails and text, but the marketing side of it was absolute garbage. Uh, fortunately, my client didn't pay too much money for it, um, but I've also had clients pay tens of thousands of dollars for just stuff that's very cookie cutter, generic stuff. Like, you know, the, uh, if you're going to bring somebody on, you need to know how to manage that that project first. You need to know what to look for. So that's why I learn first, then hire. There's a lot of scammy people out there, a lot of fake uh, go high level experts. And even if they are uh, go high level experts, they have zero marketing knowledge. Trust me, I've seen this <laughs> where, yeah, you could put together workflows and funnels and stuff, but you have no idea. You, you don't know anything about the industry you're building it for. You're just building a, a generic cookie cutter thing. That's just, it's not going to serve the, the client really well, right? And in this case, your business. So uh, you want to know how to use Go High Level first so that you know what to look for because um, the client that just hired me to come clean up their Go High Level systems, they had no idea. They were actually running Facebook ads uh, thinking that everything was set up great. And then when I saw it, it was just absolute trash. And they agreed like, oh my gosh, I, I didn't even, uh, I didn't know like that's what was in place. And uh, it was just garbage, right? So you have to know, like, you don't have to become a go high level expert, guys, but you have to know the basics. You've got to know, like, you need to be able to go into a workflow and be able to identify whether or not this is set up correctly or not, or if changes need to be made. Are things connected properly, right? And, and set up correctly for your business. So you, you've got to know the basics and uh, it really just comes down to, to committing the time. And that brings me to uh, my tip number two is just practice, guys. Just commit. Um, I'm going to skip a little bit down here, but practice for the next 30 days. Create yourself a practice calendar uh, where every day you're going to focus on one feature inside of Go High Level. And you're just going to play around with it for 30 minutes to an hour. That's it. And I promise you in 30, 60 days, if you do that, you're going to be very proficient with Go High Level because it's not hard to use. There's just a lot of stuff you can do. And I think that's where people get overwhelmed. Because, oh, I don't, I don't know what I'm able to do and stuff. Well, true. And I didn't either when I first got started. But the more I practiced, the more I just built stuff, the better I got. And, and now I'm, you know, I'm very comfortable with Go High Level. So you want to use uh, every element. I'm just going to give a couple examples here really quick. Just some of the, the main features that you probably want to get comfortable with. Using, you want to use every element in the funnel and website builder. 
like, don't even, you don't even necessarily have to know what you're building in the beginning. Just start building stuff, go through all of the elements, you know, adding different sections and rows. And how do I adjust this? How do like play around with everything um, so that you know what it's capable of doing. All right. Use every workflow trigger. So when you go to automations and, and you, you set up your workflow trigger, play around with those, play around with a bunch of the, the different actions. Right. And uh, the more you do that, the more you're going to recognize or, or like more more light bulbs are going to go off like, oh, you know, I can like if I put these couple of different actions and triggers together, I can create this type of workflow, which would save me, you know, it, it would cut my onboarding process down by 50% or my prospecting down by 25%, whatever, uh, increase my appointment show rates, stuff like that. Create some blog posts, uh, get familiar with the, the, the new, the new blogs, uh, the new blog feature that go high level has use the social media planner. That thing is, is awesome. That, that can save you an incredible amount of time using uh use the email builder right uh create it and, and a good way to test all of this too and, and like see it live and see it work uh and also to make sure that you've set things up correctly too is to create a contact for yourself and just run yourself through the funnel the website the automations and stuff like that so that you can test everything you've built and make sure it, it actually works so uh and like i said guys uh, just create a practice calendar and in 30 to 60 days you know if you commit 30 30 minutes to an hour a day you're going to be solid with go high level. And then maybe, you know, you can start hiring people to, to, to come on board and, and take over the development of your systems. Right. But that way, you know, exactly what you need, exactly how it's supposed to be done. So you can properly manage the team that's, that's building and creating those systems for you. All right. So another tip uh, to help you save uh, a lot of time is to try and find snapshots that are industry specific. If you can, there's a lot of stuff out there. This, like I said, it saves a lot of time uh, from you having to build things from scratch. Now, again, having these snapshots does not uh, excuse you from not practicing and knowing how to build something like the snapshot you get. But uh, if, when you when you get more proficient with Go High Level, by the time you get those snapshots for your industry, you're already going to know how to customize everything. You're not going to be struggling to put anything together. But uh, a good way to do this, uh, you can check out the Go High Level Marketplace. Uh, it's on your agency dashboard, and they have a ton of stuff uh, that that you know different funnels and and uh, I don't know if they sell like actual snapshots yet. But you can also go to the community group and ask like, hey, does anybody have a snapshot for for this particular industry? And you want it to be in, uh, specific to your industry, guys, because the cookie cutter generic stuff it just like it can work a little bit. But it's so much better if you have stuff specifically designed for your industry. It speaks the language of your audience. You're just going to convert a lot better uh, with your your marketing is going to convert a lot better if it's industry specific. So, for example, I have snapshots that I sell in like training programs. Well, it's actually courses and training programs that include a snapshot. But I have one for credit repair, life insurance, annuities, IULs. Uh, what else do I have? Um, oh, I got, well, of course I have my SaaS product elite broker, which is a massive snapshot just for the business loan industry. And, uh, so that's, uh, you know, that, that can save you a, a lot of time as opposed to building something from scratch. All right. So that's tip number three, number four, go to the town hall meetings, guys. Uh, I've been to a few of these, uh, I can't remember the dates. I think they do it every, well, they do a couple of different ones every single week for like SaaS. And I think there's a couple of other ones that they do, but they're typically posted inside of the Facebook group with the dates. Get on those and, uh, you know, don't be afraid to ask questions and, and make sure you listen because uh, it's a really great way to get ideas when you're, you're listening to what are other people doing, right? So it's a good place to take notes, learn more. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Be a part of the Go High Level Community Facebook group. All right. Here's another thing that's, um, that, that I see people struggle with. And you know what? I struggle with this sometimes too, but stay up to date on what go high level is doing new new strategies and systems that not even go high level is coming out with but other people are are teaching how to do but stay focused all right you don't want to you don't want to get shiny object syndrome where you're going all over the place should i do this with go high level should i do that with go high level you need to stay up to date on all of the things that you can do uh, because you never know when the next feature comes out it's an, it can be an absolute game changer for your business for your industry right so you want to stay up to date, but you don't want to be going all over the place because then you're not going to get anything done. And uh, even if you do, it's not going to be as good as it would be if you just stay focused. So uh, I do recommend 
subscribing to the Go High Level YouTube channel. This is a great way to stay up to date with the new features that they're coming out with, which is pretty much every day. It's awesome. Uh, uh, they, their team just does such a great job. But focus on what's best for your business. And, you know, there's a lot of different parts of, of staying focused that I, I could probably talk about. But, you know, like there's always somebody saying that, you know, Facebook ads are dead and TikTok is what's important right now. TikTok ads or, you know, Google ads suck, but YouTube ads are amazing. Like it's really hard to uh, to, to block that stuff out. But uh, I'm not saying don't explore all of your, your best options, but just make sure that you're you, you've got a goal, you have an objective, you, you know, kind of the, the direction that you're going, you've got a roadmap to get there. You know, these are the different types of things that I would need so that you can stay focused and, and stay on track. Because uh, if you keep getting distracted by everything, then you're just not going to get anything done. All right. So anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I just wanted to share a couple of tips with you guys, uh, th some things that have helped me and, and some things that I've learned along the way and some things that I've learned from clients and students, unfortunately, based on uh, some pretty crappy experiences. So I just want you guys to be careful. Uh, but I, you know, I want, and ultimately I just, I want you guys to be able to use goal high level to its maximum potential because it is freaking awesome. I promise you it's worth the 30, 60 days practicing and, and beyond that. But, you know, really just plow through the next 30 days just practicing. I promise you it's worth it because this is game changing software. So hope you guys are crushing it. Talk to you in the next one. Matty Ice is out.